Hello. How are Hello, you? Hello, Marco. How are you, my friend? Well, relieved would be an understatement. <laughs> 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 no, I've been waiting two years uh, for this conference. In the meantime, we changed the concept to sustainability. Um, I became a social media activist uh, for <laughs> nature. And yeah, let me ask you the first question. Um, and it's a rhetoric question. Why? Or, so when, when you started working for the family business, Sixth, how big was it? And how big is it today? Can you roughly tell us? Well, Marco, uh, first of all, I have to congratulate you for pulling off this event. I think just uh, looking at your face right now, I can see how much love and passion you put into this. And this is true entrepreneurship. So from the bottom of my heart, Marco, thumbs up. Incredible Thank that you pulled that off in the middle of this crisis. Uh, well, you know, if you talk about success, it's a little bit hard not to come across as arrogant, and especially hard for me because I get really excited when I get the chance to talk about my company. Uh, but it's true, we, I think we had a pretty good run uh, over these last 10 years, you know, in the last 10 years after I joined, we, we doubled in revenues, we increased earnings by four times and our market kept by something like 14 times. Um, but even more surprising since the pandemic, uh, which obviously as a current company, we were pretty, uh, hit, uh, to a very, very big extent. Mm. Uh, we increased our record earnings from 2019 by almost another hundred million euros, uh, and doubled our market cap, uh, from 2019 to now six and a half billion roughly. I mean, I saw on LinkedIn your amazing post about the family business, uh, which makes six look like uh, like a four or five people organization, or at least it has this, this this kind of attractiveness to it, or it feels like such a small team. But then you are a giant, right, as a company. Can you tell us, six is it the largest car rental business in the world now? I mean, you're more like a mobility platform business, and car rental is the old term. Um, how, how big are you and how, how do you manage to yeah, get the story so differentiated? Was it the family business? Because all the other businesses, I think they were going through private equity hands and probably they lost a little bit of soul. Sorry, very long question. <laughs> no problem at all. Uh, uh, first of all, I hate the word family business. The worst thing you can basically throw at my head is literally, you know, you have this feeling that you have this oil painting stuffed on the wall, you know, with people working there for 40 years. Where in fact, you know, uh, this company is is uh, thousands of people. And I think that the mere fact that 20, uh, the average age of our people working for us is 29 uh, with an average tenure of seven years. Uh, in our headquarters in Pulak, we have only 30% of them are Germans. So I think that speaks to itself, uh, whether we are a family-run business. But indeed... Um, uh, no, but come on, I Alex. You are a family-run business, right? You and your brother, father is helping a little bit on the leadership. I'm not saying... And by the way, I find it amazing how a business, a German Mittelstand, like how we know it, is breaking out. And I'm curious to understand why that is. I mean, when I grew up, for me, the six commercials were special, so I guess commercials is one. But this new area of mobility, where many people would have seen six not as an innovator, you managed to stay ahead of your game. So tell us a little bit on, on how you managed this growth and how you delivered it. I think, first of all, uh, great question, Marco. And I, I wish I had an answer for that uh, to be off my head, off my sleeve. But I think two very important facts. First of all, we invested very, very heavily um, right after the first financial crisis in 2009 into our internationalization strategy. Um, you know, even in Europe, right, we've expanded heavily, heavily in European markets. And now, 10 years back, we are now market lead in France, Austria, Switzerland. We opened four years ago in Italy, and we're now market lead in Italy. But I think our most important strategic move was the expansion in the United States, which is by far the biggest car rental market on this planet. In fact, two and a half times bigger than Europe. Um, and now we are aiming at a billion or so in revenue in the United States alone. So the United States is already our biggest market in our sixth universe. Uh, when I started, 75% of our revenues were generated in Germany. And now uh, Germany is actually maybe 17, 18% of our total revenue. So I think we've proven our international investing strategy. And the third, second uh, big cornerstone of our strategy, how we managed to do that is definitely 
um, our digitization strategy and our mobility platform one. You know, I, I don't know. We talked, I think, three years ago at the NOAA or four years ago, uh, how we are essentially a, a tech company. My, you know, my father, he actually written the first lines of code himself. And there's actually still code running uh, that my father scripted a couple of years back. Uh, but um, um, we invested heavily in our tech capabilities. You know, back in 2009, we had a, probably 100 people working in tech in Pulach. And now we are maybe 1,200, 1,300 people working in six tech alone. Um, so we basically have more people working in tech than uh, working as branch managers for our locations in four different sites around the continent, around the planet. And from a product perspective, I think we tried uh, to move everything away from being, as you said, a traditional car rental company into a holistic mobility provider. Uh, I tell you the story, I walked once from Brandenburg Gate to the Potsdamer Platz and I counted literally like 17 or 18 different mobility companies, you know, standing inside the road and everywhere you had to log in, you know, put your credit card in. And that to me was super, super annoying. So in 2019, uh, we decided to create our mobility platform one. So we obviously offer uh, our 250,000 digital enabled car rental cars, but we also offer all our other products such as, you know, six chair, six plus our car subscription product, which we just joined uh, about a year ago in the midst of the pandemic. And, uh, uh, but we also offered our 20 million customers is access to over 1,500 different partner companies, such as Lyft, for instance, uh, with over 1.5 million drivers, uh, all in one hour platform. And all of this with one single app, with one single login, with one single payment wallet, never having to leave the app. So the rationale behind it is that we wanted to create this, um, what we very humbly call our little own six flywheel, where we basically create more content, more content attracts more users and so forth. And I think it was quite successful. So by the end of 2019, we generated something like 3 million euros per day in terms of revenue on this new app. Oh. Uh, I think it was, it was not too bad for a little startup that we just launched. Wow, very, very impressive. So I guess to summarize my complicated first question, why everything went so well, you just did a lot of different things, right? And has been hustling through the details, I guess. Let's talk a little bit about sustainability and electric. And I, I, I remember that you told me once that you are very close, obviously, to the big, large automotive manufacturers. Do you offer Teslas already in your rental uh, program? Yes, we do, uh, slight numbers, uh, but uh, we are actually now very, very much uh, looking into how we can facilitate the electric change. I believe we will be at something like 30 to 50 percent electric cars by 2025 and something like 90 percent by 2030 for six. I, I truly believe that a car rental company is playing a, a pretty vital role in bringing electric mobility into reality and to the mass market, you know, which will be uh, more relevant as soon as we reach this 25 to 30 percent mark for electric vehicles after the first uh, you know ev enthusiast ever the, uh, alex every... not so fast one second so you're saying we will get to 35 percent electric car penetration at sixth. by when at six at six uh somewhere between 30 and 50 percent by 2025 that's what we're aiming for wow that's a lot that's for your fleet my own fleet and i think uh, we but that's a big change where is it now sorry to uh, we are now at about 10% already. Uh, for instance, our entire share business is basically on an electric fleet. Um, and uh, we want to be on the forefront there because we truly believe that uh, a car rental company can give people the opportunity to really experience an electric car. You know, a car rental car, a car rental is basically a paid test drive at the end of the day, which is, by the way, two or three times more effective than a test drive you do at a dealer. And by the way, five <laughs> times more effective than online marketing, TV advertising, or even print, right? Um, so basically bringing the current electric cars in the current fleet is basically the best mean to sell a car and bring it closer to the consumer. Do you have statistics on that? How many people buy a car, uh, which they test? By the way, I completely agree with you. Um, that's really the best way. It's like Instacart, the supermarket you know, company who provides products on a like trial basis to consumers. Um, so... In terms of the new model, so we talked about electric, you're moving, or you're at 10, you're moving to 30 to 50, you said by 2025. What is your strategy in terms of the business model, right? There's a lot of like the ownership of cars is changing, the cost of ownership is high. I mean, people only drive 1% uh, the cars around, uh, the rest they are parked. Um, are you looking into also new business models like subscription services or do you believe that the core is really like this uh, use of comfort and having access all around the world, the branding, um, is business model. I remember you had the My Chauffeur and different models. 
business model wise you're sticking to the roots no 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 as i said before on the app already we generate more uh content with non car rental products than with car rental products already and that's something we want to basically push forward already but to tell you a little bit the truth, Marco, right? We've been uh, talking for so many years. I think the best thing we did is convince the world that car sharing is something fundamentally different than car rental. At the end of the day, it's the same thing as car rental. Yeah. And now I get an epiphany that car subscription is supposed to be this new thing now. At the end of the day, it's called leasing, uh, right? Or a 12 months <laughs> car rental. So we dress all these fancy things up into a new costume, but at the end of the day, they stay the same. And to be honest, Marco, you know, if somebody wants to ask me if these models are going to take over the world, you know, when I launched car sharing back in 2011, everybody said car ownership is dead. Uh, we are selling more cars than ever. And uh, I think the same is true for subscription. You know, will be always something really cool for us to experiment on, like uh, make it 120 million revenue for us. But it will never swing the needle for an OEM and it will always stay a niche product to a certain extent. Well, Alex, stronger than ever. Thank you so much. I hope next time back in person, say hi to Konstantin and your wife, of course. And I thank hope you. to see you soon. Thank you, Alex. Uh, absolutely, Marco. Thank you very much. You know, Marco was the first boss of my wife, you know, so I have to be very <laughs> nice to him. <laughs> well, she was actually probably more my boss than the other way around. But anyway. <laughs> we have thank that in common. Marco, enjoy Thank you day. so much. Ciao. Bye. Thank you. Bye.